how to download virtual desktop to a version without Wi-Fi needed. So let's get started. Go to the first link in the description and download DownQ. Add to Chrome, add extension. Once it's installed, you'll be able to go to your virtual desktop app, refresh it if it doesn't show up, but you'll now be able to install the downgraded APK file. And here the button shows up. Click on the downgrade button. Now 1.25.7 is the version that requires you to stay connected with Wi-Fi at all times and doesn't let you play offline. What I'm gonna recommend is you get 1.2.1.0. Just click on it right here. This will pop up, save it. And guys, keep in mind, this only works if you've actually purchased virtual desktop and it is a completely legal and ethical way to downgrade. And once this has been downloaded for you, all you wanna do is open up File Explorer and open up a second tab. Plug in your Quest 2, press allow on the Quest 2. So then this will actually show up. You wanna go to your files. I'd highly recommend you drop everything into this download folder right here. I've already done it. All you need to do is simply drag it and drop it. And now we can install it on the Quest 2, so let's hop on there. Now we want to go to Amaze, so we want to go to Unknown Sources. If you guys don't have Amaze installed, check out the video before this one, and I'll explain everything and how to install it. Link in the description, too. Open up Amaze. I want to go to our download right here. This is exactly the file that we just downloaded. And click on it. Install it. Make sure that your virtual desktop was already uninstalled. If there's an issue, just click Allow like that. Go back with this back arrow, and you want to click on it again, and just install it again. Install it. It might take a second to load. And press open. Press allow. Allow. And if it doesn't open like that, you can always go to virtual desktop. Press open right here. Press update later. And now we can hop into virtual desktop like normal with the previous version. But if you guys had already upgraded like I did, you will need to downgrade your Dreamer app as well. And to fix that streamer issue, let's go to our third link in the description, scroll down, and in my case, this one right here, just click on it, find the location in the file explorer, and double click to open it up, press yes. If it asks for the newer version, press no. If a more recent version is already installed, what you wanna do is press finish, press the Windows key or this right here, and type in control panel. Uninstall, scroll all the way down, click right here and uninstall the virtual desktop streamer. Press yes. Press yes again, and it has been removed. And now that we've uninstalled it, double click to open this up, press yes. We do not want to install the newer version, so we press no, and press next. Choose a location to install it, I'd recommend the normal one, and press install. And finish it, press yes and all the settings should be just as they were before. And if we hop back on the Quest one more time, press open, update later, and we can now use the non-Wi-Fi version of Virtual Desktop. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.